Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Diamondback AM2 and the Taurus G2C. When I reviewed the Diamondback, many of you requested this, so we're going to do that today. You can see from this view, they are very close in size, and as far as weight is concerned, they're identical. Just over 21 ounces unloaded, loaded just over 26 ounces. But if we look at it from this perspective, we can see that the slide length is approximately the same, and the grip is very similar as well. Both carry 12 rounds in the magazine, both subcompact polymer frame striker fire handguns, and they compare well. Both cost right around the same amount. Let's start with the Diamondback AM2. You'll notice that it does have a black nitride finish on top of the slide, stainless steel slides. Some of that black nitride comes down on the slide between the serrations, has a pretty cool look. Nice grip there. And three dot sights that are Glock compatible. Uh, adjustable rear, orange front sight that are steel as well. 12 round magazine, already mentioned that does have a witness hole there and a striker fire indicator on the back full pick rail and i measure a seven pound trigger that does have a trigger bar safety upon the first pull the reset is right about halfway to rest position but a, a, a nice gun I, I i was impressed you know for a gun that doesn't cost a lot of money I think this performed pretty well. It's rather new. It was released in May of 2019, and so people are just getting their hands on it, and I think people are pretty impressed with it. There it is. Also has an orange follower, and the magazine release sits flush with the frame but now we have the Taurus G2C it's been around a little bit longer and uh, well actually quite a bit longer this derived from the Taurus PT 111 many people love that they came out with the G2C and I'm surprised a lot of people call this their carry gun I guess I should not be surprised but I said it before I'll say it again this is the gun that brought Taurus back into the good graces of many shooters out there that's just my opinion I think a lot of people agree with me it comes with two 12 round magazines and a 3.2 inch barrel it does have a thumb safety over here an accessory rail easy easy disassemble both disassemble the same way very Glock like three dot sights with um, adjustable rear pinned in front dot it does have a loaded chamber indicator bar that sticks up very nice texturing as well and this has restrike capability so if by chance it doesn't strike that primer very hard it goes into a full double action but Taurus calls this a single action firearm so you're looking at right here for your reset a much shorter reset but people love it and, and the one advantage that the Taurus has is that it's been around longer so we're able to measure the longevity better and that is the great question with this being that it's brand new and that holds true with any new firearm everybody wants to know the longevity of it but the G2C is what many people <laughs> you know it's interesting because so many people say Whenever a new gun's out, they say, compare that to the G2C because that's what they want to see. They like it. Here we are. And it performs just as I remember. Now, this does have a yellow follower. This comes with two 12 round magazines. The AM2 comes with a 12 round and a 17 round mag. So that would be nice for uh, the range or a spare mag. But here they are, similar size, weight, cost. And the question is, which would you prefer? Now, I'm gonna give my opinion. I think both are excellent guns for what they are. 
their, their polymer frame, striker fire handguns that are subcompact, carry 12 rounds in the mag. Both are pretty close to the SIG P365 amongst the class of subcompact, you know, over 10 round magazine firearms. I like it that the, the AM2 is modular, all right? I don't know if I mentioned that, but the serial number is on the internal chassis, so that can be changed out with frames. Has a little heavier trigger. I like the Taurus G2C with the longevity behind it. People uh, swear by it. It's been around longer. Not crazy about the thumb safety, but you know, it's really not in the way. This has an accessory rail. This has a, a full pick rail. Weight the same, size pretty much the same. Uh, the look, you know, that's a matter of preference. Which one is better? In my opinion, if I had to choose one, just by the slightest margin, I'm trying to kind of, because it, it's tough. I thought I'd have an easier time making the decision after shooting them. I shot the Taurus G2C just a little better. I don't know if I have more confidence with it, but I like the features better with the AM2. So if I had to choose one, I think I could uh, quicken up the speed here. I'm going with the AM2, although I do think this is pretty uh, fine, a pretty fine handgun. And I think I played both sides there without being too decisive, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.